So now that this example supports the division algorithm for polynomials, let's take the general form of writing the division algorithm for any polynomials considered a polynomial divided by another polynomial. So the general form says that f of x is divided by g of x. Say the polynomial f of x is divided by g of x then there exists q of x and r of x the quotient polynomial q of x and the remainder polynomial r of x such that my dividend is divisor into quotient plus the remainder is what I get as the division algorithm for the two polynomials where qx is the quotient polynomial and rx is the remainder polynomial in this case qx is x plus 3 and rx is 0 therefore I have the division algorithm for two polynomials where f of x is divided by g of x get, leads me to the quotient and the remainder which are connected with the divisor and the dividend as f of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x but the condition here is that we get r of x equal to 0 or at the most I can also have the remainder 0 as in this case or sometimes the degree of r of x is always less than degree of g of x. The g of x which is here will always have the higher degree than that of the remainder but it cannot exceed the degree of the g of x. So these are the two restrictions for the division algorithm for polynomials where a is equal to bq plus r where the remainder is 0 or the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor is how we understand the division algorithm for polynomials. Algorithm for the polynomials taken in its general form. So what is the significance of division algorithm in mathematical life? Where do we apply division algorithm of polynomials is what we are going to discuss in the significant part. Now as we have seen the division algorithm with a polynomial divided by another polynomial leading to the quotient and remainder therefore this division algorithm helps us in finding the zeros of the polynomials. So finding of zeros is also possible through the division algorithm concept which we have discussed out here. So significance of division algorithm. So the significance of division algorithm is what we are going to discuss. In this, in this case, say for example, <coughs> I take an example problem and identify how division algorithm helps me in finding the problem, the solution of the given problem. <coughs> say my question here says, the function f of x equal to 2x power 4 minus 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 2 <coughs> has zeros root 2 and minus root 2. Find the remaining zeros is the question. is the question. This is a quartic polynomial, a polynomial of degree, highest degree 4. Therefore, for a quartic polynomial, we have four basic roots. 
as we all know, at the most four zeros or four roots or four x-intercepts. Therefore, the two of the zeros are already given to be root two and minus root two. So the question is about finding the remaining two zeros for the given quartic polynomial. So therefore, let's see how division algorithm can be applied for this particular problem where the remaining zeros have to be found using the basic information of the two zeros as given there. Now since f of x is a quartic polynomial which is given to be 2x power 4 minus 3x square minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. Now since two of the zeros are already given I can express them in the linear factor form as x plus root 2 times x minus root 2 times of the remaining two zeros which we don't know therefore I take them as g of x. This g of x will give me the other two zeros which we are going to find as a function. Or p of x. Let me take this as p of x. Now these two zeros have identified to be two linear factors where one of the zero comes in as minus root 2 comes as x plus root 2 and one of the root 0 gives me the other factor x minus root 2 times px. This function will give me the other two remaining zeros which I need to find. And therefore for this what I do is my px which I need to find will be dividend by divisor that is the whole of the quartic polynomial f of x taken in the numerator by x plus root 2 times x minus root 2 is what I get when I simplify taking px on the left side and these two factors coming down of f of x which on further simplification gives me f of x by a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so root 2 whole square is 2 is what I get. So therefore when I divide the polynomial f of x with x square minus 2 I get the p of x which in turn gives me the zeros of the function which is strictly done using the division algorithm. <coughs> Therefore let me use the division process where 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 when I divide with x square minus 2 let's see what I get for the division. So division of this polynomial with this finally leads to understanding that I need 2x square to be multiplied with x square so that I get 2x power 4 when multiplied with this and minus 2 multiplied with this gives me minus 4x square which I write just below the x square term because the like terms are always written one over the other. This on subtraction gives me this being cancelled and finally the power 3 term comes out straight away as minus 3x cube and 4 minus 3 is 1x squared plus 6x minus 2 is what I get here. Now because I have minus 3x cube so I need to multiply minus 3x to this term so that I get minus 3x cube. So I just subtract 3 times of x so that this times of this gives me minus 3x cube and minus 2 times minus 3x is plus 6x which comes out here. So the like terms placed column wise. Now this on subtraction gives me this being cancelled and this also equally being cancelled so that this straight away comes down as x squared and this also comes down as minus 2. Now this is x square minus 2 and this is also x square minus 2 which makes me clearly understand that if I just add 1 out here then 1 times of x square is x square and 1 times of negative 2 is negative 2 so that when I cancel them I get the remainder which gives me the remainder as 0. Therefore when I divide the polynomial f of x with x square minus 2 I get p of x to be the quotient which is out here. Therefore, this is my p of x, which is obtained when I divide this whole of quartic polynomial with x square minus 2, leading to 2x square minus 3x plus 1, 
which is p of x. Factorizing this would give me the zeros, which are the remaining zeros as asked in the question. Therefore, because the remainder is zero, this is said to be exactly divisible by two, such that my, that implies my p of x, which is obtained when divided with 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 when divided with x square minus 2 will give me the quotient which is 2x square minus 3x plus 1. Thus the roots of p of x will be giving me the remaining zeros. So to find that implies when p of x is 2x square minus 3x plus 1 how do I find the roots of this? by just factorizing because it's a quadratic equation. I get this to be 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 when paid gives me 2x times x minus 1, 2x minus 1 into x minus 1. Therefore, for zeros of p of x, p of x will be equal to 0 such that 2x minus 1 into x minus 1 will be equal to 0 and therefore when substituted simplified with each of the factor gives me x is 1 by 2 and x is equal to 1 are the remaining two zeros of the given quartic polynomial therefore the remaining zeros of the given quartic polynomial are 1 by 2 and 1, the already 2 being root 2 and minus root 2. Therefore, this graph cuts x axis 4 times with each of its value being root 2 minus root 2 half and 1 is how we understand the zeros as connected with the division algorithm for example case of this